Hello and welcome back to the channel. Right, when I do a lot of my testing, I actually use an ESR meter, which is an equivalent series resistance meter for measuring capacitors. And so I'm gonna go over that a bit. I've got two boards here. They are, these are from the uh, GHD gold range. I have my meter in capac capacitance mode. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, uh, we're looking at this nice big yellow capacitor it on this model it has a history of going wrong and I know one of these boards it it has gone wrong so I'm gonna measure it like this so you're gonna read anything okay that sounds slow or something Right, right, let's just get a good connection and wait. There we go, 189 nanofarads. I do know you're not meant to measure these in circuit, but we're just, we are going to do that in a minute. This one here, 200 nanofarads. There's not much in it, but measuring it that way, you're, you're measuring uh, it via DC which in this case is used in an AC circuit this is why I do use a uh, ESR meter it's the one I use it's a peak atlas ESR 70 plus now this will measure it in like a DC mode to give us the capacitance and then it will oscillate it uh, I think it's probably around uh, uh, either one kilohertz or ten kilohertz to give us the ESR reading, which is what we need to take if we're using this in an AC circuit running. So I'm going to switch this on. At the moment, I don't know which one's bad, but this will tell me. Okay, I say an open circuit or low capacitance. What's this one? Okay, that's good. Beauty of an ESR meter is 80% of the time you can measure while it's in circuit. You don't have to take things out. So this is, that's the bad one. Right, what we're gonna do, let's take these capacitors out and then do the readings all over again. So, trusty soldering iron, bit of solder. Which don't want to come off, right. Let's just get a bit of leaded on there. I will do the same here. that one that's the bad one Come on. there's the good one right so we've got two capacitors and they're out of circuit This one, our peak said was bad. This one, our peak says was good. So let's do the test again. Right. Nope, it still says that one's bad. What about this one? Still says that one's good. So there's been there's no change. Excuse me. So there's no change on that. 
let's just try our capacitance meter. This is the bad one. 190, actually not far off of measuring it in circuit. And a good one. 201. Again, not far off measuring it in circuit, which had, did surprise me a, a bit. So as you saw, measuring it with a capacitance meter, I couldn't really tell which was good or bad. But the good old ESR meter immediately identified the bad one, even when it was in circuit, so I don't have to disorder anything. This is why I use an ESR meter. They're very useful, uh, even with especially power supplies. They are they are a must uh, this particular model is about a hundred pound you can get cheaper versions around 30 40 pounds but uh, definitely uh, one to have in the workshop many thanks for watching